And in today's video, I'll be showing hand histories of blatant collusion and definite RTA slash botting. Hey guys, Ben Ababi here, and welcome back to the eighth episode of Roback Tie Stakes. So as I mentioned last week, the theme of today's video is going to be the cheating that's going on Ignition. So I'm going to spend a bit of time showing you some hands and also talking a little bit about the types of cheating that is going on there at the moment. But first, let's get straight on into the graph for March and my overall results. So as we can see in the graph, there was not much joy this month, apart from the last day of the month where we had a pretty nice day. So as we can see, we lost almost exactly 25K USD and ran about three and a half thousand dollars above EV. And our win rate for the month was around minus six big blinds per hundred. So all things considered, not the best, but certainly not the worst either. I know there are a few people asking me about rate back and that kind of thing. So I think what I'll do is at the end of each month, I will include the bonuses that I got or the rate back. This month, I did actually get dealt into the table where a Babbit jackpot was hit. I was also at the table for a couple of bonuses, which were these mystery envelope things on GG. I'm not really sure what those were for a few hundred dollars. And then I made some rate back on top of that as well. Overall, my rate back was $7,415 for the month. So a grand total of minus $17,500. Definitely not my best month ever, but by a long way, definitely not my worst month either. So on to the theme of today's video, and that is the ignition slash Bavada cheating. So I'm sure many people have been aware of what's been going on in the poker world over the past few months particularly the Money Taker 69 situation on GG, which for those of you who don't know, that was a super user on GG who could pretty much see equities in the hand. Not sure whether or not they could actually see whole cards, but they could definitely see whether or not they were going to win the hand or not. Then there was also the botting situation on ACR, which is still something that hasn't quite been resolved. And then there is also the cheating on Ignition Poker. Now, several people have been talking about this quite a lot in the poker community. Patrick Howard being one of them, Matt Marinelli being another one, Matt Berkey being another one. So we will be leaving links to their posts in the description below. So for those of you who aren't too familiar on the ways in which people may cheat, I'm just going to list a few of the most likely ones now. The first, which is actually very unlikely, is super using. And that is what happened on GG recently. People have access to equities, or in old cases, like on Unibet back in the day, people had access to whole cards. Now this is a very, very unlikely one, but clearly it can still happen because it did happen very recently. The more likely methods of cheating are RTA slash botting. RTA is real-time assistance for those of you who don't know. And often bots will probably be using some kind of RTA. Whether or not it's a purely automated bot that is playing without any human assistance, which to be honest with you, I don't think happens that much. I think more likely outcome is that there are human beings playing with a bot running, but also having to click the buttons and actually make the decisions and do the timing and that kind of thing. The third form of cheating is collusion slash whole card sharing. And that is when there are multiple players at a table using their whole cards or using certain plays to manipulate situations to their advantage. Now, in terms of ignition specifically, I just want to say that there is absolutely no guaranteed proof that there are super users or bots on the site. I would say that it's very unlikely there are super users and I would say with almost certainty that there are bots. I am 100% certain that there are plenty of players using real-time assistance. I get plenty of GTO Wizard fair play checks while I am playing with specific players who are using GTO Wizard every single hand on some tables. And then there is absolutely collusion going on at the tables. People are whole card sharing, people are cold calling three bets to squeeze other players out of pots and manipulate the situations. And in today's video, I'll be showing hand histories of blatant collusion and definite RTA slash botting. And the last couple of things to mention are that Patrick Howard was in touch with the security team several months ago at Ignition. And since then, it has been radio silence. So I'm not sure exactly what that means. But from what I understand is that there have been no steps to remove the cheaters from the site or the RTAs from the site. I think that that should be a real warning sign to everyone, including myself, that if we are going to play on Ignition, we need to be very, very selective with our games. But fundamentally, playing on that site where the security team is basically zero and having zero care for their player base probably suggests that it is a site we should definitely be avoiding. But it is obviously up to you. And the hands I'm going to show today are just a few of many, many, many other hands that I'm sure many of you have experienced on Ignition with the RTAs and with the colluders. So we are going to be showing all the whole cards so we get a good idea as to what's going on on the tables. 
So we get open from the classic do six suited for three X. You may argue this is a recreational who should be opening 75% of hands if they are opening this hand. However, they are running 32 V pip as is the cutoff who was cold calling lots of their opens and there was a lot of back raising going on. We obviously squeeze queens. I just want to say that I didn't think or know that these players were colluders at the time. This was after the fact. Small blind also folds king jack offsuit in the small blind, which is very notable for later in the hand. Interestingly, small blind also had the same stat as MP and cutoff. So that is something to note. MP makes a call. Again, what the hell's going on? Cutoff makes a call. What the hell's going on? We see King Jack Jack and very interestingly, as I said, small blind has folded King Jack. It goes check, check. I go ahead and bet range for small and then very curiously, six do suited goes ahead and check raises to half of their stack and cut off folds. Obviously, I just have a fold here. Can't do anything about it. I have no reads on this player being a whale. They're running 32 VPIP. So I just make a very, very standard fold. So what do we think about this hand? Have I just been wrecked or do we think that this may be a little bit suspicious? So this hand is probably the most obvious cheating out of all the hands that I'm going to bring today. And if you don't play Ignition, you're going to think this hand is fabricated because it's that ridiculous. So we get a limp from under the gun. So we do see the limp and then we see a very classic limp from the cutoff with Queen 8 offsuit. Again, cutoff wasn't running a high V-pip, something around the region of 28 or 30. We then get a limp on the button, very, very suspicious things that are going on now. And I go ahead and ISO to 6x. Under the gun calls, nothing really too much to say about that. Definitely could be a player limp calling pocket fives. Cutoff calls and button calls. So we go four way to queen 10, three with two hearts. We check under the gun checks, cutoff checks and button checks. You might argue that one of these players are now going to start stabbing and trying to squeeze me out of the pot, but we know that this board hits the ISO as range, so maybe there's no reason to go ahead and bet. We do turn the nuts on the king of diamonds. I check again and under the gun checks again, cutoff checks again, and button now goes ahead and bets 150 to 250. Definitely think there is some merit in raising here, but this is certainly a situation where I thought there was a very, very high chance that they were going to be colluding. So I go ahead and call under the gun folds and cutoff makes what is a very questionable call. I mean, this can only be either an absolute whale or a definite cheater. River is a six of spades. We have the nuts still. I go ahead and check, cutoff checks, button bets 260. Now, a lot of the hands that people have posted in the past about the colluders were that in situations like this, where there was a decent amount of money behind and that there was a capped range, then the person who was deep in the hand was able to reshove, rep very, very strong and make the non-cheater in the hand fold. With that in mind, I decide to call and attempt to trap the cutoff. Unsurprisingly, cutoff does jam for 200 big blinds or my 140 big blinds effective. Button obviously folds, knowing that they have unbelievable fold equity now. I obviously call and we do find Queen 8 offsuit for like the 380 big blind pot. So I think we've got to agree that this hand is nothing short of pure collusion. So this hand was played about 10 days ago and I want to preface by saying I had only just joined the table so I had no reads on anyone, no hard stats at all. We open pocket threes in MP and we get three bets small to seven big blinds from the cutoff and the small blind cold calls. So I'm assuming potential recreational here, but not overly sure. Very interestingly, the big blind has a six spades and does fold and we have a mandatory defend now. We flop bottom set on 983 mono. It goes check, check, check. Turn is a queen of hearts. Very noticeable now that the small blind checks and when we bet three quarters pot, and they defend that a six of spades was folded in the big blind and also king ten of diamonds was folded in the cutoff. King ten of diamonds, definitely less relevant. The river is a jack of diamonds and small blind now very quickly lead shoves for 1.5x pot. So it is conceivable, I think this one, that this could be a recreational, but I think with the blockers folded, the a six of spades in the big blind and also the king ten in the cutoff, I think there's a fairly high likelihood based on the other hands that I've seen and the other hands that I've posted that this is another whole card sharing hand. I obviously fold. I can't be anything at this point. I'm hoping to find like a hand like ace jack with the ace of spades on that weird rare occasion, which I definitely don't think we can assume that the cold caller has. So I do make a fold and this time we do lose to eight seven. So what do we think about this one? Do we think that this is just a recreational going crazy or do we think that the blockers that are folded are relevant enough to assume that this may be at least a little bit suspicious? So the last hand today, I think this is a little bit subjective, this one, and I'm not 100 
100% sure whether or not this was whole card sharing or not. I think it was personally because the button and the small blind had extremely similar stats over about 125 hands, but also we could be reading that into a little bit too much. So we get an open for three and a half X and we go ahead and defend ace five offsuit in the big blind. We've got bottom pair on jack 10 five with a flush draw and villain goes ahead and two thirds the flop. I think we have a pretty close call here and I go ahead and do that. We turn two pair on the ace of diamonds, bringing a second flush draw. We check and villain bets two thirds pot. I think we have a very mandatory call now, so we go ahead and do that. Rivers is six of clubs, bricking both flush draws, and we check. Villain then shoves for 5x pot. Now, you may just think that this is a good bluff because we are capped, and while I do agree with that, the fact that they've opened queen seven offsuit and the small blind has also folded a king, whilst this is going to be printing in reality and i am going to be folding pretty much all of my range the three factors of the opening size the fact that button wasn't that loose and the fact that small blind folded a king leads me to believe that this is at least somewhat suspicious in game i do fold so guys what do we think about those hands do we actually just think i'm a washed reg and i'm seeing monsters under the bed or do we think that maybe a few of those hands were relatively suspicious you are able to go see loads more hands in those threads as i said that will be posted in the comments below but i would be super interested to hear people's thoughts are you playing on ignition at the moment what do you think of the games do you think that there is some weird stuff going on please do let me know but that is going to do it for today. So until next time, take care and good luck at the tables.